Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, your number one source for income-oriented investing. And in today's video, I want to do a follow-up on the recent video I made on the Horizons ETF's massive ETF launch. They recently launched nine ETFs, and a few months back, they launched even more ETFs, so they have greatly enhanced their lineup. And the, the latest video I did was really more of an informational, educational, sponsored video, right, where I just go through the ETFs. Uh, and say what they are basically. But in today's video, I really want to narrow down what I feel are two game-changing ETFs. And I've seen a lot of comments in our in our in our Facebook group, and and you know people have been writing and saying, hey, is it is it only me or is EQCL really a game-changing ETF? And the answer is yes. I do feel like uh, EQCL is a game-changing ETF. This is the Horizon Enhanced All Equity Asset Allocation Covered Call ETF. And there's also HEQL, the Horizons Enhanced All Equity Asset Allocation ETF. So let's do a deep dive into these ET two ETFs, uh, especially the income one, but we'll also cover the growth one because I really feel that they are game changers for both income investors and growth, aka total ret return investors. So let's do a deep dive. Let's compare them to other uh, ETFs that are very similar. And I'll give you my opinion on why I think these are real game changing ETFs. Let's get to it. All right, everyone. So we, we can't really discuss EQCL and HEQL which, without first discussing HEQT. So what is HEQT? Well, it's a very popular style of, it's an asset allocation ETF, very popular. And uh, iShares has their own, Vanguard has one, even BMO has one. So you'll probably know what HEQT is from BlackRock in Canada here and what VEQT is from Vanguard, right? But HEQT is, is basically the same concept, everyone. So in case you're not familiar with these style of ETFs, they're basically a one-stop shop, 100% equity, 100% stocks. And it's basically like, look, just give me the best index funds so I have exposure to the best stocks all around the world. So if you look at the holdings, it's basically an ETF that holds other ETFs. And the combination gives you exposure to the best stocks all around the world using very popular index-based ETFs. So for the Horizons ones, if you look at the composition, you have 35% in HUEL, which is basically US large cap. So you could say it's kind of like the S&P 500. You also have a bit in the NASDAQ. So it's typically 45% US exposure. Of course, US is the biggest market in the world, right? So we have about 45% in the US here. You have about 25% in developed markets outside of North America. So things like Australia, Japan, Switzerland, Germany, UK, France, those types of economies, right, develop outside of North America. Typically, you'll have 25% exposure. You'll also have uh, Canada, of course, there's going to be about 20%. So uh, what's better overall exposure than the S&P TSX 60, right? Which is kind of like the S&P 500 for Canada, top 60 stocks in Canada, really. So you have 20% there. And then you'll always have a little bit of emerging, uh, sorry, it's this one here, emerging markets, which would be things like China and Brazil and, and things really that, you know, markets that are less developed, they're not developed yet, they're, they're emerging. So the combination really gives you access to the best stocks all around the world in every region. That's really the premise behind the HEQT ETF, and same thing goes for XEQT, right? If you look at the holdings, it's just an ETF that holds other ETFs, and the percentages are actually very similar. You're always going to have the biggest chunk in US. You see that uh, the US exposure in XEQT is taken care of by the ITOT ETF. Of course, it's all going to be the BlackRock ETFs and the BlackRock one, and all Vanguard ETFs and the Vanguard one, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So again, you'll have a US exposure here. You'll have the Canada exposure. You'll have this exposure here, which is developed outside of North America. And you'll have a little bit of emerging markets. The percentages could differ from, you know, provider. You see that emerging markets is only 5% compared to 10% in HEQT. Here's the Vanguard one, VEQT. So if you look at what's inside this one, as you probably already guessed, it's a combination of Vanguard ETFs, which will give you your US exposure, your Canada exposure. It's actually, Canada is actually pretty, a lot bigger in the Vanguard one at 30%. And then you have the developed outside North America at 19. And then you have the emerging markets at seven. So it's going to be a little bit different for each one, but the, the composition is typically very similar. The percentage is very similar as well. The management fees are very similar. You have 24 basis points MER for the Vanguard one. The iShares one is 20 basis points and the Horizons one is also 20 basis points. So it's a very cost efficient way to get 
Just give me the best stocks all around the world. Very, very popular ETFs. XEQT, very, very popular. VEQT, very, very popular. The Horizons one's not as much, but if we do actually a comparison, HEQT versus XEQT, for example, guess who wins and has better total return thus far? HEQT does. What about the Vanguard one? Well, guess what? The Horizons one is also beating the Vanguard one as well. So I strongly, you know, obviously I like, you know, I don't own these ETFs, but the Horizons one is currently outperforming. And these are growth ETFs. So the two game-changing ETFs that Horizon just came out with is HEQL. This is the first one. What is HEQL? What it, it's just a leveraged version, 25% leverage to be exact, of HEQT. So now growth investors have a leveraged option of this style of ETF, which is very popular. So if you're a long-term investor, you're a long-term growth, total return investor that loves this one-stop shop ETF, you now have this game-changing unique ETF, HEQL, because it just adds 25% leverage. So if long-term, if the markets go like they've been doing for the last 100 years, go up over time, that 25% leverage is gonna give you more growth, more total return. Hence, you see the word enhanced in the title. It's the exact same ETF title, except it's en enhanced. And if you look at the holdings, very simple, everyone, it literally holds 125, approximately 125% exposure. That's where the 25% leverage comes in of HEQT. So this ETF literally holds HEQT plus 25% leverage to give you even more exposure. So if you're okay with a little bit more volatility, which if you're a long-term a long-term investor, you're just buying and holding for five, 10, 15, 20 years, you should be, you'll probably get more growth and more total return with this leveraged version of HEQT. Now the management fee, I will point out, is a tad higher. It's 45 basis points instead of 15 basis points. So it's actually quite a bit higher. The MER is not out yet because it hasn't been a year since it's been out. And remember the MER will include leverage costs. But in my opinion, this is just my humble opinion, I think that if you're a growth investor, especially if you're a young investor, HEQL is really a game changer. And it's, a, in my opinion, again, a better option long term. If the markets go up more than they go down over time, which they typically do, then VEQT, XEQT, and HEQT. Now, that's the first one. That's the growth ETF, game changer for growth investors. But of course, on this channel, we are income investors. So the, another new brand new ETF that just came out is EQCL from Horizons, it's the Horizons Enhanced, so it's gonna have 25% leverage, all equity asset, asset, asset allocation, covered call ETF. So think of EQCL as a covered call version, as an income version of HEQL. All right, that is the easiest way to think about it. So if you look at the holdings, simply what they've done is they replaced the, the growth S&P 500 ETF here, US large cap ETF with the covered call one. They replaced the Canadian exposure with the, with the Canadian exposure covered call ETF from Horizon, CNCC. They replaced the NASDAQ growth ETF by the covered call one, QQCC. Now, there is no emerging markets and developed outside of North America covered call ETF. So these are still growth exposures, but the majority of the portfolio now is in QQC is in the combination of the covered call ETF. So if you add up 43.88, 24.91, 12.56, that is the majority percentage. If you add up the, all the percentages here, you will come up with 100, approximately 125% because it does use 25% leverage. So this is very unique, one of a kind because we never really had this style of ETF, uh, you know, an all equity asset allocation ETF a covered call version. This is literally a covered call version, but not only that, it, it, it has 25% leverage. So the yield right now is, you know, the first distribution was, was just declared at 19 and a half cents. Now this could vary, but if we just, you know, check out the yield, what it currently is based on this stock price here, if you just do 19, uh, you know, 0.195 times 12, you got the annual dividend rate of 234. If you divide that by the stock price of approximately 2059, you have a yield uh, oh, no, sorry, I didn't do that right. So 0. 0.195 times 12 is 234. If we divide that by 20.59 times 100 is 11.36%. So you have over 11% yield on this ETF that holds 
basically all the best blue chips all around the world. It's a one-stop shop for diverse sector diversification and regional diversification. It's absolutely a game changer uh, for us income investors because technically now if you want, you can literally just buy this one ETF and you have access to the best stocks all around the world with a bit of leverage, 25% leverage, and most of the exposure is covered call exposure. So you're looking at over 10% yield. So I think this is incredible. It's, it's really a game changer. I didn't really go into it that much in my previous video, but this is gonna be really uh, what I think are two game-changing ETFs. This one for growth investors, HEQL, and EQCL for us income investors that don't mind a bit of leverage. And by the way, in case you, for some reason you don't like the leverage, there is an ETF called GRCC, which is, it's not 100% equity, it's 80% it's eighty equity and 20% fixed income, but think of GRCC as just the non-leveraged version of EQCL. If you look at the holdings, you'll see a lot of the same stuff, right? The same covered call ETFs, um, but you also see a little bit of fixed income uh, as well in here because it's an 80-20 mix. So this is also a great option, GRCC in case for some reason you're not comfortable with the leverage, but my opinion, I was a long-term investor, I would always go with the EQCL if you're an income investor. So hopefully this video was informative for you. Check out these ETFs on the website, guys. I think this is a very strong ETF to consider to complement your portfolio. Some people like very, very slim portfolio. And, and now you have the option to just get one ETF uh, which is absolutely incredible, right? EQCL, which takes care of all your diversification, not only sector-wise, but also regional-wise. Pretty, pretty cool. Now, million-dollar question. I already know the question you're going to ask me. Are you going to be buying an EQCL? Are you going to invest in EQCL? If so, how much? And if not, why not? Well, stay tuned because that's coming up in another video. Well, I'll discuss my thought process uh, behind that. So hopefully this video was informative. Give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and see you next time. Hey, don't go yet. A few reminders before you leave. Did you know that I launched a YouTube loyalty membership program where for only $3 a month, you could become a PII Inner Circle member where you will gain access to exclusive content, exclusive videos and live streams, as well as other perks and benefits, including a really cool weekly opportunity report. That's right. If you're interested, just click on the little join button next to the subscribe button to see what it's all about. Also, make sure to follow me on Blossom and download Blossom. It's a social investing app, which is really cool. You could share your portfolio, follow other people's portfolios, including my own. My username is Adrian underscore PII. So download it with the referral link below. Not only is it free, but you could actually earn cash by taking these really small, quick one minute courses. Really awesome. It's a no brainer. Also, make sure to visit our website, PassiveIncomeInvesting.ca. That's where you could book a one-on-one -on -one private coaching session with yours truly, with myself, where you could ask me all the questions you want. All the information and booking information is on the website. Make sure to check out that video on the homepage there to see how to book a one-on-one -on -one properly. Also on my website, you could purchase my digital product, which I'm very proud of, the Ultimate DIY Investing Package. This is a reference tool or a companion tool that will help you build your own portfolio. So it has lists of funds, it has sample portfolios, and it covers both the Canadian and US stock markets. And the good news is you'll only ever have to buy it once because it comes with free lifetime updates. And my plan is really to update the version every single year. So make sure to pick it up. Also, I have Questrade and Passive referral links below. So Questrade is the broker that I personally use and Passive is the broker companion tool or companion uh, or assistant that I use. Really cool program, really cool software. So I have referral links for both of those. Questrade, $50 of free trades and Passive, I have half off for the elite membership. If you're interested in the elite membership, and even if you want to start out with the free membership and upgrade to the elite afterwards, use my referral code so you could still get that 50% off. And don't forget that the elite membership of Passive is 100% free if you use Questrade. For social media, we have a very successful and big Facebook group, private Facebook group with over 14,000 members where we all try to help each other out. So make sure to join that group. Information is, in, is below. 
We also have Instagram where you could follow us or more personal stuff uh, when it comes to our life here in Panama and there's LinkedIn as well. So as usual, everyone, how do I leave you? Continue to stay safe, stay healthy, and of course, stay passive. See you next time.